All right, since I just covered level 69 last video, I thought I'd go ahead and cover level 420 in this video. <sighs> also, thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. That is just insane. We're on the road to 100K now, and the journey is just gonna be incredible. Thank you all so much. Let's get into it. Level 420, AKA the Frozen Lake, is classified as Class 5E, which means the environment is the only real hazard here, not entities or anything like that. The level is a huge frozen lake that measures around 100 kilometers or 38.6 miles in size. On all sides of the lake, there are towering snowy mountains that surround it kind of like a bowl. The temperature here gets to around 14 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 10 degrees Celsius during the hottest part of the day, and it drops all the way to negative 9 degrees Fahrenheit at nighttime, but that's not as cold as it gets. Exploring on this level is actually really hard since there's always blizzards taking place in some spots of the level. During these blizzards, the temperatures drop even more than before and can get as low as negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice. And these blizzards can happen at random times as well, but you can kind of predict when one's going to happen because there's going to be one huge strong gust of wind. And if you feel that, you got to run for cover because it's about to get crazy. The day night cycle here is 24 hours and the nighttime is way more dangerous than the daytime because of those temperatures and the blizzards and the main reason is because the blizzards can last for hours and hours at nighttime while in the daytime they typically only last for like 20 minutes so far the group that's been exploring this level the bpc has found three distinct zones there might be more than this, but only 30% of the accessible parts in the level have even been explored, and three distinct zones is all that's been found so far. And they are the mountain ranges, the frozen lake, and the base. The mountain ranges are obviously the huge mountains that surround the lake. There are caves and caverns and crevices throughout these mountains, which make it really difficult and really strenuous to explore. People who fall into a crevice are immediately considered a lost cause, since there's practically no way to save them, no safe way at least. There's actually a mysterious substance inside of some of these crevices that are life-threatening, so that's cool. The caves in the mountains are actually a pretty safe spot to offer protection from a blizzard, and they're typically warm compared to the rest of the level and hover at about 36 degrees Fahrenheit. But the BPC considers these caves unsafe and unstable, so you can't really stay in there for too long. The frozen lake is the next zone, and it's exactly what it sounds like. The ice on top of the water is pretty much impossible to break with any tool that's been tried. However, there are some natural cracks in the ice where you can see the water, and it's a deep blue color, and there's been no living organisms seen. Samples of the ice have been examined, and there's actually a really dangerous amoeba that's been found inside of it. This amoeba has also been found in the snow on this level, and it poses a huge threat to you if the snow or the ice gets into an open wound or in your nose or in your mouth. If someone does get infected with it, a 27-day infection period starts. This is called the amoebic necrosis infection, and you won't even know you have it for the first couple weeks. But after that, it'll slowly make its way to your brain and cause a ton of symptoms ranging from a fever to seizures to complete organ failure after 27 days. Nice! But the BPC has created a medicine to combat this disease, and it's made out of almond water, a royal ration, and liquid from a megaflora. And this medicine has indeed been shown to get rid of the amoeba, so if you're infected, just go to them, I guess. The last section of the level is called the base, and this is pretty much the safest spot on the level. It's located at the base of the mountains between the mountains and the frozen lake, and there are a bunch of log cabins here, and these are the safest spots to hide from the blizzards. The cabins are just above freezing, so they're still cold kind of, but they're safe still, obviously. And they actually have electricity from an unknown source, as well as some basic furniture just laying around. Around the base section, there are also some fruit trees outside that grow fruit, which is interesting. Mainly, there are guava trees that can be harvested for food. Although one time, it was witnessed when a fruit was taken from the tree, the tree withered away after an hour. So it's kind of like a pick your poison thing. You can pick eating or you can pick getting rid of a food supply. These trees also have a slimy blue liquid inside of them that keeps them from freezing. And if a tree branch is cut off or something like that, this blue liquid will ooze out and that section of the tree will freeze. 
The only outpost here are the cabins that the BPC lives in to do research, and you can enter this level by getting into a snowstorm on level 39 and to be teleported here, and you can exit, theoretically, by running into a blizzard which can take you to level 790, but I'm not gonna try that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for 50,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. The channel hit that in only four and a half months. It's been crazy. We're just getting started, and I'm extremely appreciative for all you do for me. Stay tuned for official Brugly merch very soon, and the start of the SMP as well. Also, make sure you go over and sub to Tugly, my gaming channel, because I'm going to be uploading the SMP gameplays and streams on that channel. It's going to be awesome. The SMP will have infinite amount of slots, so you guys can just join whenever you want to. But patrons and channel members are also going to get a special role and rank on the server. Also, speaking of channel memberships, I have just launched the channel membership for the Brugly channel. It's called the Brugster Roll, and if you were to get it, you would get two special emotes, the bread and the sunglasses emoji emotes, and you'll also get early access to videos and special access to channel votes, stuff like that. It's pretty much Patreon, but on YouTube if you don't want to use Patreon or something like that. But of course, you do not have to buy this membership. It's just there if you want to support me a little extra and to get some extra content and behind-the-scenes content. I have some really cool stuff planned for the Brugley channel, some really cool projects I'm working on. Hopefully you're ready. Probably the favorite one I'm working on is a Hollow Earth or a Gartha themed backrooms level. It's going to be awesome. I think that's going to be one of the best videos I'm going to make. I hope you guys are ready for that one. Check out all the links down below in the description and join the Discord down there. I know for a while the Discord link was invalid on my channel, but I think I fixed it finally. So if you want to go join over there, it's a great time. I'm always on there talking to you guys. But if you didn't see my community post from earlier on New Year's Day, my goal for the Brookley channel this year is to hit 100,000 subscribers. I'd like to do that by May, which is where my birthday is, of course. So uh, if we can gain 50 more K in six months, we got it easily and we're going to get that silver play button. It's going to be awesome. You guys are making my dream of being a YouTuber come true, and I genuinely appreciate it. I'm also, like I said, going to be launching a vlog slash real live channel very soon. And the first video that's going to go up on there is actually going to be a setup tour where I'm going to show you guys where I do my work and uh, setup and game and all that stuff like that. So get ready for that announcement. It's going to be soon. And I'm going to upload all the time on there, just random little vlogs and stuff like that. It's going to be a good time. And Tugly is also going to see a ton of content, including some Fortnite content with one of my homies I've been recording videos with him. It's going to be super fun. Fortnite's actually pretty fun right now. I'm not going to lie. I took a two year break, but it's back. So yeah, enough rambling on. Thank you for watching and supporting me. I'll see you later.